Hey guys, I'm Rafa and I'm a PLM engineer. In this video, we're gonna take a look at basic objects in Theme Center and how to create edit in Active Workspace. So let's get started. The first basic object is item. Items are the fundamental objects used to manage information in Team Center. They represent a product, a part, and documents. In engineering product development, parts are identified as item. As shown in the example, item ID, a unique identifier for an item. You can see block kind of symbol that is item icon and it can be customized. Item name is user defined name to describe the item. Next is item revision. Item revisions are used to reflect modifications to an item. Every business site defines its own procedures to determine how and when a new item revision should be created. For the example shown below, the item rev contains item rev icon that can be customized, item ID, item revision ID that is A, B, C dataset. It manages data files called name references. There are few examples of datasets like test file, CAD datasets, PDF and more. Now let's get into Active Workspace and see how to create these objects. First, go to settings and turn on labels. Now, go to your folder icon. Then go inside your new stuff. Now, I'm gonna create a custom folder. Click on add, just type in folder. So just give your folder name. In my case, I'm just giving test2. Now, we're gonna create an item inside this folder. Click on new add select item if you don't find this item in the recent just type item in the filter click on item give your item name in my case i'm just giving bold nut you can assign this item to a project click on add project select the project click assign then add now we have created item let's open this item revision now we're gonna go through all these tabs first go view it contains all your properties like description type of your item revision and you can edit these properties by just click edit start edit so i'm gonna change the description to test here click on edit save edits so that's how i can edit the properties of item revision now click on contents this displays your bomb structure if this has a assembly data set you can see child items attached to it where used it displays your parent assemblies and references objects which item is referenced to it changes it displays all changes related to this item attachments these are all your pseudo folders where you attach your data sets. You can customize this pseudo folder depending upon your business needs. Now we are going to add data set to the item revision. Under file pseudo folder, click on add to. On the other filter, type PDF. Click on PDF. Give your name to your data set. I'm giving test. Click on choose file. Select your data set. Click on open, click add. Now your dataset is added. Click on overview tab. Now you're gonna see the preview of your dataset here. History. This shows your revision history. If this item has a revision A and B and C, this gives you a list of all your revisions of the items. And it also gives you the change history. Click on relations. Now you're going to see relationship between item and a data set. Click on arrow. Go to information on the right hand side. Now you can see the relationship type is specification. And the primary reference is item and secondary reference is data set. Next is collaboration. You can just ask questions like why this bolt is 5mm. 
and you can give a description for it and click price question it's like we are asking a question for this item and it pops up to the owner of this item and he can respond to this and you can even add comments like your facebook comments you can even give your ratings to the items participants this shows all the proposed reviewers and proposed responsible parties where this item is attached to if this item is attached to a workflow then it shows all the proposed reviewers and these tabs can be customized through style sheets you can add your own custom tab just an important note for you guys rich client is designed as item centric client where everything revolves around the item object whereas in active workspace it is designed as revision centric client so when you search with item id in search field it will return item revision that's it for the today guys if you like this video please do like share and subscribe don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section stay safe peace